the 2023 Lexus UX 250H all-wheel drive F Sport Series 3. It's got the alloy rims, painted fender wells, the all-new obsidian black roof. This one is the cloudburst gray color. So you're going to get your F Sport grill and fog lights, triple LED headlights. It's got blind spot monitoring in the mirrors. So this one has the, the red leather with heated and cooled front seats, new dash panel and screen, as well as center console, which we'll go through when we get in on the other side. In the back here, you get your power points down below, USB-C. You're gonna get your cup holders in the middle, really nice, easy access child safety seat anchors, which are super easy to take in and out. Uh, the seats flip forward, see if you have that nice flat surface to get in and in the back. Yeah. And then in the back here, it has the kick sensor tailgate, which for that to work, you just walk up, you kick under the gate, take a quick step back so that it has room to open. And then it power opens, really neat. Uh, now back here, you do get the dual shelf storage system here. So when you lift up on this, you can drop it down just to give you that additional storage space. And then underneath this as well, you get the storage under here too. So depending what you want to store, it has all that. Feature-wise, you get the storage on the side here, which also has your battery that starts the car, not the hybrid battery. And then on this side, additional storage there too. Now, as we go down the driver's side, all both sides will give you the blind spot monitoring built into the mirrors. They are power folding mirrors. You're gonna get your memory seats, automatic sound control, which will play engine sounds in the vehicle. So it sounds more sporty. And you get the power driver and passenger seat with height control, lumbar support, uh, tilt and telescopic steering. You get pre-collision system, radar crews, automatic headlights and high beams. Now with the new system, they did move it so that um, this is a touch screen now. Down below, they've switched this to now have the wireless charge with, with a bit of a slope so your phone sits in there better. You get the USB-C ports, nice easy access cup holders. They moved your touchpad and your radio controls off of this and they moved, put all your heated seat controls and everything there versus having them up on the dash here like the 2022s. So we're gonna start it up. So you have um, the digital displays and everything with the sliding set up there. And then the new display, navigation is built in, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It still has your dual climate control and everything, garage door openers up top heads up display in the windshield with the folded information display and then you have your lane departure alert your radar cruise cruise is built up into the wheel with the distance setting being this button here and then you have your push to talk switch and everything there with your f sport steering wheel so if you have any questions make sure you like and subscribe at the link here below and uh, I'd love to post some more about the UX and see what comments you have about all the changes. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And have a great day.